Hi, this is Lee Fields, and I'm at Friends of Sound. This is Digging Essay. It rains blood when I'm with you. It rains blood when I'm with you. You're my son when clouds roll through. I like the musical pocket that it's in, and it has a, um, it's very refreshing. It's a song like you want to just, uh, you know, get in your car and chill with your lady, or, you know, even chilling by yourself, you know. Ain't No Big Thing was recorded on the Dynamic Record label, a local label owned by Abe Epstein. There's a lot of history and music surrounding Epstein. He was a real estate agent who in the 1960s also produced hit records by the Royal Jesters, The Commands, René René, and Sonny Ace. This track is actually a cover. Little Junior Jesse and the Teardrops recorded their version of the Radiance track in 1966. Jesse began his professional career in radio broadcasting in 1965 at San Antonio's popular Spanish language station, KUKA 1250 AM, taking Kuka Power dedications while hosting a radio show called Top Teen Tunes. The Phenomenon of young Chicano singers in San Antonio reinterpreting black doo-wop, rock and roll, and R&B music is really the backbone of what is known to be the West Side Sound. I've heard, I've heard that, that term before. I think last time I was in town, I was talking to someone. They was telling me how a lot of music now is taking that route in this region. It's interesting and it's good, it's a good thing. Diving into the music of the West Side Sound with the help of Big Crown Records, Lee Fields was inspired to record a cover of a well-known Sonny and the Sunliners track, The One Who's Hurting Is You, for an exclusive compilation called Dear Sonny. They would come up with some ideas about, I mean, I like this song, and, and uh, whatever they came up with, when I was with them, I went along with it because they, the guys had their hands on the pulse of, of uh, what people were liking. That song which I, that I covered, it was, it was a great song. I like that track. Matter of fact, I knew Wilson Pickett. I worked with him a few times. And his band leader of the original track, I think they got it from Wilson Pickett, Midnight Movement. The original band, the Midnight Movers, we played together for a long time before he got with the Midnight Movers. Curtis Pope. So, and they did a good job, excellent job covering the song. Excellent job. Pumped up with fast, funky rhythms, lively horns, and rocked out James Brown style vocals, this track showcases Sonny's inspiration and range and style. What inspires me with music as far as uh, creating songs? The lyrics got to touch me. I'm, I'm very much into lyrics and into a song because I think the people that support my music, like um, they like the stories that I'm telling. Before I cut a record, really, as long as it has a story and it has meaning, then it's my job to interpret it and try to get much as much meaning out of it as possible.
that voice is very good. I like his voice. I like the background. I like the whole the whole track. And the song has meaning. It was catching me from the time I heard it. Here's another track from the Dynamic Record label. This one features another local phenomenon. San Antonio is also known as Military City USA because of the number of military bases and military population living in the city at any given time. Back in the early 60s, a group of airmen stationed at Randolph Air Force Base formed a group called The Commands. Abe Epstein stumbled upon The Commands at the Hunt and Saddle Club, which was a venue inside Randolph Air Force Base. No Time For You got lots of airplay in San Antonio and reached number one on all of the local stations when it was released. This track showcases the group's infectious melodies and the soulful arrangement of the background vocals. You know, you can have the artist singing without the background and it, and it takes it to a, a good level, but when you add the background in it, it just takes the song to a whole nother place, especially if the background is really good. Wayne's blood. 